Hello everyone. Today we are going to understand sensory integration. And to begin with sensory integration, we need to start understanding about our different senses. Our senses are broadly divided into two categories. The first one introceptive sense and the second is extraceptive sense. Now what is introceptive sense? Introceptive sense is the sensory information that is received via our internal body organs. The awareness of our internal body organs is our interoceptive sense. For example, we feel hunger when our stomach is empty. Over here, the sensory information of hunger is received by our brain via our empty stomach. Now, we will understand what is extraceptive senses. There are mainly seven extraceptive senses. We receive so much information about our surrounding environment via these seven extraceptive senses. So let us begin with the first extraceptive sense that is vision. Vision is the sense that the information our brain receives on seeing any object via our eyes. The second one is the olfactory sense. It is the sense of smell that our brain receives from our nose. The third one is the gustatory sense. The sense of taste that our brain receives via tongue. The fourth one is auditory sense. The sense of the information that our brain receives from our ears. The fifth one is tactile sense. It is a very important sense of touch that our brain receives via the receptors located throughout the skin surface over entire body area. The next one is vestibular sense. Now what is this vestibular sense? This is awareness of our body balance. Now whenever our body faces any challenging situation regarding our balance and regarding the maintenance of upright position of our head, then at that time this vestibular sense comes into picture. Now this vestibular sensory information is received via three semicircular canals which are located inside our ears. Whenever there is any change in the body position and whenever there is movement and whenever we need to maintain our body balance, then there will be change in the fluid inside the semicircular canals. And the fluid motion would be detected by brain and brain in turn will help in maintaining straight upright position of the head and also the maintenance of body balance. Then comes the proprioceptive sense. The proprioceptive sense is sense of the information regarding our entire body position, the body awareness and the awareness regarding relationship of our body position in space as well as different body parts with each other. For example, over here I am able to clap with both my hands even when my eyes are closed. That is because of proprioceptive sense. The relationship between my hands and how I can use it together is because of this proprioceptive sense. Another example I would like to quote over here is I would be able to write with a pencil and at the same time I will decide the amount of pressure to be applied while writing in such a way that my handwriting is visible and at the same time the pressure is not so much that I am breaking the lead of the pencil. So, the judgment of the pressure over here is because of proprioceptive sense and for this the proprioceptive receptors are located inside all our body joints. However small or large the body joint is, 
the proprioceptive receptors are located everywhere and this proprioception is very helpful in our day to day activities. Now let us go back to sensory integration. As I said there are many senses and through the senses we are receiving all the information from our environment. Now on receiving all this information, all this sensory information, our brain will process all this sensory information, will organize it and then ultimately it will help us to use it in completing any task that we are engaged in. This sensory integration is responsible to signal us regarding tuning out filtering out any sensory information which is not relevant to our current task and the same process of sensory integration is also responsible for helping us using the relevant sensory information related to our current task. Now let us understand this with one example. You might see children playing cricket and in that cricket let us take one small incidence a child is standing prepared to hit a ball with the bat okay over here his visual sense is giving sensory information regarding the ball approaching towards him the movement of the ball moving towards the uh, person then next the boy will start to assume a stance position to hit that ball with the bat now, while assuming that stance position and taking a swing, at that time the vestibular sense will help in maintaining the body balance and the upright position of the head. Then, the judgment of amount of force to be applied to hit that ball comes from our proprioceptive sense. Then, when the ball strikes the bat, the sound will help in deciding that okay I have hit the ball and now it's time to run. So over here the boy is integrating so much senses together to complete the task of hitting the ball with the bat. And at the same time there are many other sensory information that the brain is receiving. At the same time someone is shouting from behind. At the same time there is some movement occurring nearby and the brain of that boy is filtering out those distractions and only processing the necessary relevant sensory information and this entire process is what we call sensory integration receiving sensory information processing sensory information by organizing it and after processing and organizing the sensory information using it to complete the current task is called sensory integration i hope now you are able to understand what is sensory integration if you are having any questions or any doubts then do give your comments in the comment box below do not forget to like and share this informative video with your friends and also subscribe to our channel the easy therapeutics and do not forget to hit the bell icon below so that you can get the updates regarding our next video on sensory integration therapy and the kids who need this sensory integration therapy thank you